Good morning, everyone, and welcome back to Dapper Glen Farm in Stardew Valley. It is Thursday, the 25th of spring, and the fire is still roaring. I should have really turned that off at night, but, oh, the crackle was so good. I had some lovely dreams. Let's check on the weather report for tomorrow. It's going to be a beautiful sunny day tomorrow. The, the Stardew Valley drought continues, it seems. Well, Wick, what are the spirits like? Spirits are very happy today. Oh, that's lovely. They will do their best to shower everyone with good fortune. And living off the land. Let's have a look at you. Fruit trees. They take an entire season to grow. So plan ahead. If the area directly surrounding your new tree isn't clear, it will interfere with growth. Once your fruit tree is mature, it'll produce delicious fruit for you every day while in season. Better start saving up. Indeed, we better had. Indeed, we better had. Oh, uh, what? Hi, Alec. Oh, I've probably made enough money, of course. I believe Demetrius shows up for this event once you've crested a certain amount of uh, overall money made on your farm. I have some good news for you. A few days ago, I made a breakthrough in research on the local environment. I'll spare you the technical details. Oh, why? I'd like to hear them. Uh, you know the empty cave over there, a little ways to the west? Well, I have a way to turn it into something useful. Well, it's already useful. There's a beautiful cave. Uh, useful for both of us. Oh, okay, that, that makes a little bit more sense. I'd like to set up a cave to attract some local species. That way I can observe them in a more controlled environment, and you can harvest whatever products they produce. I can either set up the cave to attract mushrooms or fruit bats. The bats will sometimes leave fruit for you to collect. Now, <laughs> we've already had this, a little bit of a discussion, but we haven't yet come to a conclusion, and that is a bit of a shame, because this has happened a little bit faster than I was expecting. All right, so, pros of the mushrooms. Regular sustained not random con for the bats super random oh my lord it's random if anything gets gets deposited and it's random what gets deposited if something gets deposited but pros for the bats the fruit on the ground benefits from my various skills i think they might even actually benefit from foraging skills um, but if not they at least benefit from the various um skills in in farming and, and later on sort of artisanal stuff like that so their value increases mushrooms don't benefit from it you only ever get one mushroom from each each uh each colony uh whereas with fruit you might get more and more and also i believe the fruit can benefit from the quality bonuses you can get with skills as much as i was dissatisfied with bats the bats it wasn't there the the amount of product they were making it was the variedness of the product it seemed like with enough time, I would get all of the things I needed to be able to get the community center set up in the first year in my second playthrough. And that just didn't didn't really go the way I'd wanted. But I think with, with a different set of expectations, I'm not specifically aiming to get the community center finished in the first year. It would be lovely. It would be lovely. But uh, I think... Look, I just really like bats, okay? I, I really like bats, and I really, really, really miss just being able to go walk around the castle and listen to them talking to each other. Or rather, talking to the castle to work out whether they were going to crash into it or not. Either way, and you have my full consent to to laugh at me later on if I complain, but we're going to go with bats. <sighs> Alright, I'll go set it up for you right now. It shouldn't take any time at all. Thanks for letting me do this. You're more than welcome, me, and thank you for doing it. Uh, okay, like I said, if, if uh, I end up complaining, well, you know, I only have myself to blame. And you are completely allowed to call me on it as well. Uh, although, I, you know, I wouldn't hold it against you if you decided not to. I mean, that would be particularly nice of you. There we go, let's grab all of these. Oh, this is fantastic. Am I going to plant anything more? It's the 25th. No, I, there's nothing that I would be able to plant that would grow in time. So, you know what? Increasingly... There's almost no no reason for me to be uh, worried about uh, uh, about watering. Hmm. That is a good call. Also, sorry, Yoko. I forgot my watering can was in there. Let's go and take care of Yoko's bowl first and foremost. Bada da, Yoko. Uh, let's switch over to the watering can. There you are. Enjoy. And now, if we pop in there, we may actually even see that it's already been set up. Yep, there we go. <laughs> They're not talking yet, but it's fine. We're 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 not well. We're, we've not been formally introduced. They're a little bit shy. It's fine though. Bats are actually incredibly 
incredibly talkative. Um, I mean, you know, I say talking. They're not actually communicating with you. And for the most part, it is actually their means of, of, of navigation rather than communication. But, you know, a good part of it is actually communication as well. Um, but yes, I, I really, really, really do like bats. And I've been very, very fortunate that everywhere I've lived has had bats in some capacity. It's just, you know, no matter where you live, it's going to have a real hard job living up to, or rather stacking up against a castle. I mean, I guess if you literally lived in a cave, then that might be able to uh, to outperform a castle, but still. It's not a castle, so it already loses points based on that alone. All right, let's get the last little bit of watering done. Now, given... Oh, I'm going to have to harvest that. Given that uh, it needs four days for a harvest of uh, strawberries, I don't think we're going to be seeing any more. Sadly, uh, and it is sad. I am, I am quite sad about that. But it's just the way it is. Uh, I will continue to water it, just on the off chance. Like I said, there, there's a small chance that a uh, a um, crop fairy will uh, will grace us and update our crops and uh, force them into the next stage of harvest. But it's pretty unlikely. Pretty unlikely. Uh, everything has been watered. There we go. Okay, nine thirty. Ah, oh, it could be that simple. It could be that simple. It never is, but it could be. Now let's uh, go ahead and drop off all of the bits and bobs. All of the strawberries we're keeping, every single one of them. Uh, all of these potatoes we are not, however. Oh, I need those. Uh, oh dear. Where did that go? Mm, there we are. Yoink. Uh, the leeks can all go in there, the wild hole, uh, radishes. Yeah, that's fine. Uh... Is there anything I want to take out of there? Not really. I think we're good. However, a few things have been suggested to me. And I quite like them, actually. I quite like them. From now on, the speed grow will be in here. Because really, it's, you use it with seeds. Makes sense. All the fertilizers will live there from now on. Additionally, the syrups, uh, well, you know, the saps and, and so on and so forth, will actually live in here. I mean, maple syrup will actually go somewhere else. But the oak resin, at the very least will live in this chest. And I think that's actually a really, really good way of balancing that out. Let's go ahead and sell all of those crops. Marvelous, thank you very much indeed. We'll also go grab the kale as well, and then we're, we're done. We're done for the day. Ah, oh, wow. That happened remarkably, remarkably quickly, and I'm extremely, extremely pleased with that. There we are. Now, I need to go and grab the correct tools for the mine. Uh, I would like the pickaxe, I would like my weapons, I would like the bombs. I do not need the fishing pole. We'll leave that in there. I do not need the sickle. And that can also be left in there for now. Okay, I think we're, yes, we're, we're definitely going down the mine today. Uh, that being said, one thing I will do is first, after I have uh, sorted out my inventory, uh, let's grab a couple of presents. The daffodils, definitely. You know what? Dandelion as well. We'll go and, go and see if we can chat with Pierre. See about that. We've got 10,000 gold. We could. I suspect we could look at getting a coop. Ooh, that is definitely a good choice. It only just occurred to me. I'm going to need a lot more, more uh, wood for that, though, aren't I? Where would I put said coop, though? There are so many places I would want to place it. Um, find that little little spot there to slip through the, the trees. Um, could perhaps have something down here, but I can't get through these boulders just yet, so that's a no-go. We could have this little grassy area over here, perhaps. Maybe right here, if it, if it would fit in there. Mm, it's a little bit of a tight squeeze, but uh, maybe even over here. I don't want to get rid of the, the bushes. But the these uh, tall ones, well, actually, no, they're probably going to be something as well. Maybe maybe on this little grassy area here, right in between. That that seems like it would be good for a crop, though. I know I'm I'm taking I'm taking up valuable valuable time doing this, but uh, I feel that we may be able to to get this done. Let me go ahead and grab my axe. We're going to be going up that way anyway, so I may as well uh, pop by and say hello to Robin on the way. Uh, yeah, we're not going to worry about that right now. Um, how much construction? We've got a few. I don't know how much we're going to need. I suspect it's a lot more um, wood than we've got. But let's clear out this area. 
Now, sadly, I've already allowed these to grow quite a lot, so they're not going to be as uh, as productive as if we uh, had cleared them out earlier. Tonk, there we are. And let's just get you out of the ground. There we go. Thank you. Thank you. I think this little spot here might be a prime place for a coop. It would hide some of the the uh, berry bushes, though. Maybe even over here. No, I think that would be better for something like a uh, uh, the horse's stable. Maybe over here. It would be right in front of the bat area. But that might not be a bad move. Let's go ahead and clear this out. Just make sure this little area is clear. Let's get rid of you. Thank you. And what about you? Anything else around there? Okay, that might work as well. That wouldn't be as bad of a place to not have crops, in my opinion. Uh, yeah, I think that would work. I think it would work. Let's go and see what Robin has to say, though. We can drop off a lot of these items at the at the mine, so I don't need to worry over much. It's already 1.30. Wow. I was going to go to say hi P to Pierre as well. My goodness. Oh, Wiggly Worms. It's been a while. Hello. Uh, that is not the place of the Wiggly Worms. Burn the Lost Book. Hooray. Right then, Robin. I've got 10k burning a hole in my backpack. I could spend it on another backpack, but I'm not going to. You're always welcome to visit us, even if you aren't shopping, you know. Oh, that's really kind of you. You may have a daffodil. Uh, wait, 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 wait. I don't know. Let me quickly check. Robin, do you like daffodils? Have I given you a daffodil before? I have. And it's a normal gift. I mean, it's, it's not a disliked gift, so I accept. Um, I can't imagine you like a dandelion, but I'll give you a spring onion. Maybe you like this. Can I? No. No. Um, why? Oh. Oh, look, it, I, it's experimentation. I have to. Hello. I would like to construct a farm building. 300 wood. Okay. How about an upgrade to my house? You also need to provide 450 pieces of wood. I mean, no. But I could get the 300 wood. That wouldn't be too difficult for me to do. I won't be doing it today, but it is definitely something I do. I'm excited to see what happens with the cave. Aren't you? I am, actually. I'm very excited. I hope you're pleased with the work I did. I am. Would you like a daffodil? Can I give you a daffodil? That was very thoughtful of you. See? Demetrius appreciates the daffodils. I mean, it's not like you didn't, but... You just didn't appreciate it any different than had I given you any other item that you just didn't dislike. And that is sad. Like another lost book. Fantastic. I have quite a few things to check out at the library. All right. Well, time for us to go down into the caverns and actually get my mining up a little bit. My lord. It is quite, quite low. Uh, drop off all the forage. Don't need the axe with me. Or any of these items, actually. Uh, everything else kind of want with us. So let's make our way down to level 15. All right. We're going to make a quick uh, swing through, take out all of the enemies. It was pointed out to me that when it comes to stairs down, you've got a much lower chance of finding them from a rock if there are any enemies around. So uh, thank you very much for that tip. I will bear that in mind. I may as well go for that one since it's a little bit of uh, better mining skill, but we don't need to take... Oh, damn it. I was going to say... Don't need to deal with that, but now that you've awoken, you're going to go into your cocoon. Ah, poop. All right, fine. I disapprove, but okay. Thank you. Yoink. Now I've got to deal with you instead of trying to make my way down further, which is deeply annoying. Thankfully, I can use my uh, dagger frequently, and I need to get better at switching between it to use its uh, special attack. That is sincerely a useful uh, attack there. That really, really does help. That sudden wallop of damage. All right, we're going to go through all of these. At the moment, I, I'm i definitely wanting more copper. Ouch. I'm definitely wanting more copper. But uh, trying to get my mining skill up is a little bit more important in a certain way. Right, so we will hit all of these that we see at this point. Just because they offer so much energy. No, nope, damn it. Okay, fine. I, I guess. I guess. My declaration of nope means nothing. Uh, I used to be able to come down here. 
and take so little damage. Or at least I think I did. Maybe that's an exaggerated uh, recollection of my skill in the mines, but it didn't feel like I had quite as much trouble with the regular um, with the regular uh, insects, the flying insects at least. Okay, let's uh, see what we got there. A little bit of wood. It won't say no. We need 300 after all. That might be something that we work on tomorrow. I'm getting a funny feeling, though, that uh, there's still at least one... There's not an event, but I've got a feeling that I'm not remembering something else that I need to be aware of in spring. Uh, oh, really? You can go over the Earth Crystal? I disapprove. I find that rude. Cheat tax, in fact. Nope. I, it would help if I would face the right way. It really would. Okay, fine. You can just hang tight there and just get smacked by my sword. Okay. Or maybe not. You coming up? There we are. Thank you. I appreciate it. Oh, ah, damn it. Uh, I'm taking way more damage than necessary, but... Uh, oh, well. Uh, sad, though. I don't actually like t uh, killing the slimes if I don't need to. Um, I've got a bunch of maggots down there. Gotta try and get through here. Oh, no. I really, really would like to not have to deal with four of you if I could avoid it. That would be ideal. Okay, that's annoying, but all right. Uh, no. Oh, dear. Okay. This is going to get a bit risky now. I need you to be facing the same direction, if possible. Uh, there we go. One removed. Okay. Nope. Okay. Not great, but we're alive, which is always good. Now, if I eat the spring onion, it should uh, help out a little bit. Now, I can make something with the bug meat as well, which is quite nice. We may well have to do that. At this rate, we're ga gathering quite a lot. I think we need 10, though, in order to get any real benefit from it, which is uh, <laughs> a little bit more than I actually want to recover, if I'm perfectly honest. If we can get through this without having to slay enough bugs to have 10 bug meat, then that would be great. All right, let's uh, see what we've got over here. Are we can have a little tunneler. Possibly. Oh, we've got a crab. Uh, once again, rather not have to kill you if I don't need to. Nope. Nope. Double nope. Okay, I'm glad to have gotten that uh, dagger attack in. The daggers, honestly, I, I don't know why I didn't give these weapons more of my time before, because they are sincerely pretty amazing weapons. I really need you to just not be alive, otherwise you're going to make my life so difficult in a moment. Ooh, okay. Not too terrible. There we go. We are actually up to nine bug meat now. Not exactly great, but also, I guess, not terrible. Right, we got down to level 18. If we can get to level uh, 20 before this mining uh, expedition is over, then I will be sincerely happy. No. Ideally, I'd much prefer it if you'd stop that. Oh, got it just in time. Okay. That was annoying. Did get a critical hit there, though, with the dagger. Right, we're up to the, the 10. So I guess we're going to find out what the bug meat is like then. You know what? Sure, that's fine. Let's go ahead and... Oh, no, it's going to be some... Oh, no. No, you can just make bug steak. The last resort of the Hungry Cave Diver. Well, I mean, it isn't, it isn't strictly a last resort, but... Uh, omch. Not terrible. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to be honest. That's actually kind of good. Uh, thinking about it, since we're down here, I don't technically need to attack any of you. I can just sweep on through and go for the stairs. Oh, no. There is no stairs. Why is there no stairs? I thought there was going to be stairs. Oh, this is de actually really bad. I may well die here. I need I need to uh, protect myself in the corner. I am not doing a very good job of this. Uh, okay, there's one down. The sliming is not helping me. Please, no. Oh, Okay. That's another one down, but I am quite low on health. Thankfully, you did not go into your cocoon yet, so I had a moment. Whoa, that was a lot more difficult than it needed to be. Yikes. Uh, yeah, I kind of need to gobble down all the rest of this. I should have known something was up when I saw this many uh, mobs around. Ah, uh, what be this? Is that warning me that uh, this is an infestation level? Oh, it might be. That would explain why there's, like, nothing else here. I should have clued into that one when I uh, saw the odd arrangement of the nothing in this area. But uh, enemies... Oh, well. I can have one more 
uh, insect there. It's fine. As long as I can get it through you quickly, then we should be okay. There we are. No, okay. Well, actually, that's not too bad. Juggling them in a way. I approve. Oh, the slime, though, is going to be annoying. I really would prefer if I didn't have to deal with you as well. So let's uh, try and hide around this side so I can just take out the bug. Oh, really? Now is not the time. Uh, the longer we're here, the more we're going to have to put up with this, which is annoying. I thought we were on... Uh, we were on course to get to the next level without too much uh, uh, issue, but uh, no. No, it seems I now need to evacuate. Which is different from evacuating. It involves much more running away and less looking dapper. No, stop killing me. No, no, go try and dodge. Ah! Uh. <laughs> Take that! I am an expert at not dying. I'm not an expert at getting back to my farm in time before I fall asleep, mind you, but I'm expert in not dying, at the very least. Ugh. Well, that was a bit of a flop. And here I was, thinking we were going to make amazing progress, but alas. A bloody infestation level. Right when I didn't need it. I'm, I'm bleeding. This isn't good. I disapprove. That's meant to be on the inside. Those bugs literally turned my insides into outsides. How dare they? The gall! The gumption! <sighs> I mean, I, I guess I was in their house, you know, hacking and slashing my way through the guy. Uh, technicality. Uh, but oh well. Uh, let's drop off all of the random odds and sods I, I picked up there, then. Um, the fiber, I guess, I'll keep. Uh, that's good. All right, monster ops. We actually now have enough to make a couple of bug steaks. Which I'm somewhat pleased about. Somewhat pleased about. Uh, drop off another seed. Okay, we've got a little bit of copper. Uh, let's pop these on the go. There we are. And finally, let's drop off all of that. Ah, sadly, I didn't manage to uh, to leave these behind. That's a bit of a shame. We're not going to be going back down the, uh, the cave. That's not what's going to be happening next time. We are instead going to take our time to get some uh to get some wood level to combat though life elixir excellent now that is where mushrooms will be very useful for you we actually got a fair bit of money as well all right not too bad at all not too bad at all though i am i am really really having to just try and decide on whether we want to have a new house or a coop come summer weather report let's have a look your number one source of weather news and entertainment. And now the weather forecast for tomorrow. One day we will get some news. It's going to be clear and sunny all day. Why am I not surprised? Hello, Welwick. The spirits are somewhat annoyed today. Luck will not be on your side. Well, it didn't seem like it was on my side yesterday either, but... Uh, oh, well. I can't imagine what it would have been like if the if the spirits weren't happy with me. That's what was happening when they, they were actually pleased. My goodness. No, I, I want to... There we go. What did I Uh Right, well, we've got a bunch more items. So much more that we can sell. And at this point, we've got very little um, watering to do now. Very, very little watering to do. Greetings, Zavok. It is our pleasure to inform you that your farm will be featured in next week's up-and-coming column of the Stardew Valley Tribune. Congratulations. We're impressed with your quick progress. Uh, oh. I, uh, well, that was unexpected, but very much appreciated. Thank you. All right. I suspect that that is it for a lot of these runner beans. We may still get a little bit there. And if I was being ultra efficient with my watering, I would only water the, the green beans that could possibly get uh, get uh, another harvest. But again, although the odds are astronomically against us, I'll still water all of it. It's fine. It won't take me nearly that long now and we should be able to go and speak with robin it, we will probably end up with quite a lot of energy left over to go into cinder snap forest and gather up some extra wood now we could also if i really wanted to upgrade my axe <sighs> i'm not sold on that idea though really not sold on it actually. Uh, let's drop that off there. Right. Are there any other things we need to deposit 
You know what? Sure, we'll take that up to 10. Um, but everything else we can now, now sell. We've got uh, more than enough things that we're going to be making jam out of. I don't think we need to worry about, about the rest of this. Like, at all, actually. We, we really don't. Uh, let's grab you. You're coming with. Okay, well, we'll pop this over here. We'll make a fair old bit of money there, I imagine. There we go. Ah, the end end of end of spring. It's it's a little bit sad, but also you know there's a lot of a lot of uh, hope for the future. I think there's a lot of things that we're going to be able to do reasonably soon. Though I am a little bit concerned that I'm forgetting something. Uh, it's preying on my mind, so I'm going to go and check the calendar. I'm going to go and check the calendar. It's not going to be another event. There are only two in spring, so it's going to be a birthday. Whose birthday am I forgetting? I need to go and check. Okay. Let us swing down. Hmm, got a nice little bit of forage there, actually. Let's uh, sort out my inventory, though. There we go. Perfect. All right. Let us go and see. Also, we can pop down to Gunther and uh, say hi. I should have bought my genes thinking about it. Oh, oh, hey, Shane. Yeah, quick chat. What are you doing, mate? Do you have work to do? I mean, I do, but... Ah, I just wanted to say hi. I'm looking for someone to bring me 20 copper ores to see if any rare gems are hidden inside. 200 gold on delivery. You can keep the ores after Clint inspects them. I mean, the ores are going to be awkward. I'd like to accept it, but 20 is... That's, that's quite... Oh, no, I meant to check the calendar. That's quite a lot. Oh, thank goodness. It was Pierre's birthday. And then actually Emily's tomorrow as well. Uh, it was, I'm not going to be honest. I was probably remembering Emily's birthday. Yeah, the very least you can do, even if it was a parallel you in a parallel life, is remember your wife's birthday. <laughs> not that I strictly remembered it, but, you know, tell me why me dimensional shenanigans were afoot, okay? I remember that there was something that I was I was not remembering, and that was enough. Well, I just realized it's Friday. It is. Sometimes I totally lose track of time. Oh, yeah, he's... Uh, I feel that on a like a deep, deep level. Uh, here you go. Enjoy. A birthday gift. That's very kind of you. I love it. You're more than welcome, mate. More than welcome. Business has been slow since Georgia moved into town. It's hard to compete with their selection. I'm sure you'll do fine. It's okay. Uh, in fact, actually, that's uh, that's yeah. I, I guess that's all we had to do. Uh, let me have a quick look. All right, three hearts with Pierre. Nice. Let's have a look. Oh, it's a liked gift. Oh wait, no, no, we'd already discovered the, the dandelion. Uh, sorry, yeah, daffodils were a liked gift. But I'm I'm unsure about dandelions. I think I think you may actually even be okay with dandelions. I need to test that at some point. But for now, we have places to be. Morning, Jazz. It is actually morning as well. I don't know you. Your words. They dig deep. They root around a little bit. And they twist and churn. And leave a horrible, disfigured wound. Uh, we may not be be well acquainted, but <laughs> I've said hello to you so many times now. To say you just don't know me. <sighs> hello. See, I'm very certain even the pig knows me, and I've never said hello to the pig before. All right, now then. Grandmother end table. That's actually uh, not bad. But... Mm, the coconut. That one is very tempting. I'm fairly certain that, that is used in one of the uh, bundles. Let's have a quick look. Oh, it's not going to be in uh, the crops bundles. Brewer's bundle? No. Rare crops? Well, we've already got uh, uh, a seed, I think. I uh, might not, actually. Um, fall foraging? No. Wild medicine? Probably not. Um, no. Winter forage bundle? No, it's not going to be there. Crafts? It's unlikely to be there. Adventurer's bundle? No. Um, treasure hunter's bundle? You know what? I need to put a lot of things in there. Blacksmith bundle? I could take a copper item over there. Okay, well, it's not there, but I'm I'm, well, I'm shockingly certain that it may, it, it's going to turn up eventually. So we're going to grab it preemptively. Uh, now... Comes a long, long bit of uh, lumberjacking. Maybe we're going to be able to get them all cut down in time to go and uh, get the coop starting to be built. I shall bring you back when we're done.
Okay, I think that should be enough. We're almost out of energy, though. Uh, so just as well, we've cleared a fair bit of Cinder Snap Forest. Now, the nice thing about Cinder Snap Forest is as long as you clear the stumps, the trees will regrow themselves. And they'll always regrow in the same place. If you leave the stumps, though, that will actually block the regrowth. So always, always clear the stumps in Cinder Snap. Always clear the stumps in Cinder Snap. Now then, if we can get over to Robin's in time, we may be a little bit late now. I'm not sure if she closes up at four or later. It... Uh, I'm not sure on that one. I'm not sure at all, but we can certainly try all the same. We've got quite a lot of money, so uh, let's let's hope. I mean, we're shy of. I think we've got enough to get the uh, the chicken coop. I think it was 300. Uh, that that may have actually been the more expensive of the two. It may have been that 300 was for the house. Either way, as long as she doesn't close at four, then we we're, we're good. Hello. Oh, nothing brought down. Look, it was already past four. I wasn't going to get there any faster at this point. Now, let's go and have a quick check and see if she... Nah, trap Diamond Blast. Okay. Well, our choice then is uh, open until tomorrow. Whether or not we get the coop or indeed the the house upgrade. Hey, Linus. It's a great gift. Thank you. You're more than welcome, mate. How are you doing? Please don't destroy my tent. I would never. It's happened before. Well, it will never happen... At least as a result of my actions. Um, I would like to believe that no one in Stardew Valley would ever would ever do that. I have no idea where you lived before coming to uh, to uh, Pelican Town. I, I say Stardew Valley as if it's anonymous with Pelican Town. It's not. Uh, for all I know, there's quite a lot of other uh, little towns in Stardew Valley. But uh, either way. Uh, okay. Well, we're not going to be getting the upgrade or the coop today. And that is a that is a bit of a shame, but uh, on the plus side, an opportunity to get a little bit more forage. Now we've also chopped down a lot of trees, which does come under the forage heading. And we might find that foraging will go up to level uh, six if we're very very lucky. That would actually be really nice. Also, fishing soon. We're not that far off getting fishing to to level five and getting to pick the the first perk out of the fishing tree. That's actually quite nice as well. But you know what? Let's uh, let's swing by the saloon. There should be loads of people hanging out there today. Hello, Jody. The food at Jojo Mart might not be the healthiest for my family, but with such low prices, you'd be crazy to shop anywhere else. Mm, I mean, I, I understand your reasoning. Hey, what's up, farmer guy? Um, farmer guy, really? Oh, I almost forgot. It's my day of doing push-ups. Very well, I hope you enjoy Every time I do push-ups, I try to do one more than last time. Pretty cool strategy, huh? Yeah, you know, actually, that's, that's pretty good, pushing yourself. It's a fine-looking day. On days like this, I like to help Evelyn with the public guns. Oh, that's lovely of you. Though, in regards to uh, the push-ups, I mean, it depends on what you're going for. If you're just if you're just trying to, to improve your, your overall fitness, then probably that's a good strategy. If you're trying to improve your strength, then once you've got a good amount of reps down, then it's better to increase resistance rather than reps. You know, at a certain point, more reps is just going to make you fitter, you know, more your cardiovascular system, but uh, it's not necessarily going to be pushing your muscles any harder. If you want Lewis to like you, give him hot pepper. Uh, Roger, Roger, I will bear this in mind. Hello, everyone. Come in, come in. Handling salty fish all day makes me real thirsty. And it's so much so that I forget what I've already said to you. I've been working hard all week. I deserve a little relaxation on a Friday night. Yes, you do, mate. Yes, you do. And you say exactly the same thing. Hello. You've met my son Sebastian, right? He lives downstairs. He's a little shy, but I'm sure he'll warm to you if you're nice to him. Well, I wouldn't be anything but. Robin has a hot temper. It's better to stay on a good side. Oh, okay. Uh, don't tell her I said that, though. Uh, I mean, she's literally in front of you, mate. Literally in front of you. I, I don't think I would need to tell, tell her. Oh, cute. Marty doesn't even seem to notice you're there. Good evening. It's nice to see you socializing with the townsfolk. It's good to stop by once in a while and see what the latest news is. And uh, Mayor Lewis also doesn't know what he's already said to me. The other day I bought a green bean at Pierre's. It was perfect on a bed of greens and dash of my special vinaigrette. Oh, that's lovely. 
We wouldn't be able to survive without nature. It's good to remember that. That, I believe, is actually a um, reaction to you having sold high-quality produce. There you go. Oh, I've already given you two gifts. Well, um, okay. Uh, sadly, I know you don't like daffodils. Fresh air of this valley is good for the body and the mind. Quick stroll outdoors always invigorates me. But yes, I'm fairly certain that if you uh, if you chat with uh, with someone in the town, they they can either have a very positive um, comment about some projects they brought from Piers lately. If you go to Piers and sell it there, or a negative one if you sold like a, a, a low qual quality one. It's like hmm. Right, let's have a look then, Elliot. Let's have a look at what I've given you. Oh, I'm not giving you anything. Hmm. Fairly certain you don't like daffodils. I'm pretty certain that you actually broke my heart once with them. Let's see if you like uh, leeks. Hmm, I'm not a huge fan of this. What? Uh, it hurts even more. You don't like the national flower of Wales, nor do you like the national vegetable of Wales. Uh, can I be portrayed any any crueler than this? I don't think so. All right, Gus, give me another pint. Uh, I'm, I'm not sure I'm ready to give any more gifts. Rejection is so cruel. Ah, spring. The season of pastels. I actually prefer jewel tones myself. Oh, excuse me. I was mumbling about fashion again, wasn't I? It's okay. I like listening to your mumbling about fashion. Business has, has been really good tonight. I'm pleased. Well, I'm very glad, mate. Very glad. All right. You know what? Let's go and... Uh... Oh, actually. Do you sell... Fish? Um... It does not look like you do. Triple shot espresso. Wow. Okay. I mean, you soft fried eel, but uh, not the fish I was looking for. Because I know Sebastian quite quite approves of a certain certain fish dish. Hey yo. Hmm. If I give the cue ball a bit of a top spin, maybe I could. Maybe. Should I let Sam win for once? Nah. <laughs> you look so pleased with yourself as well. Well, Abigail, Abigail isn't isn't chatting. Can I sit down? Ha ha! This is a ridiculously huge uh, chair for me to sit in. It's almost a couch. In fact, it looks like it's meant to be a couch, but it looks like a chair. All right. Well, you know what? It's time for us to continue our journey with the Prairie King. Uh, we didn't manage to get our uh, our house upgraded nor buy a coop, but if we can make it a little bit further with the Prairie King, I will accept that as uh, fair compensation. Nope. There we go. Nope. Thank you very much. I should probably go for the, the weaker ones, but they only take two hits to kill, so it's a bit easier for me to risk dodging around. Why? Nope. Whoa. That was a bit risky. Kind of need to remove as many of you as I can. Oh, that was a bad choice. There were so many queued up behind them. It would have been better to have gone for some of the others, really. They would have been a bit more... Uh, bit easier to deal with, I think. Nope. Now, the thing is, is at this point, had I gone for the increased mobility, I may be able to dodge out of the way of these attacks a little bit better. Or at the very least, to uh, oops, uh, to reposition myself for attacks on them a little bit better, which would also help quite a lot. Right, okay, you know what? Let's go with the uh, spread bullets. There we are. All right. Someone also mentioned that the, uh, the, the nuke doesn't tend to leave drops so it can actually be it can work against you in a way to use that too much thank you very much for the advice on that one by the way because i wasn't uh I'm, I'm not sure if i ever knew that or or if i'd simply forgotten it since the last time i played but either way it's very good to know okay a little bit of uh, extra speed there no thank you all right we're almost through this level it's been a bit of a tough level though to be fair I'm a little bit surprised with how hard this one has been. Okay, there we are. Whoa, 16. Nice. Tempted to go for the mobility at this point, but no, we're gonna we're gonna keep going down the the route of upgrading my weapon. We're probably gonna go to the mobility in the next uh, the next opportunity simply because I won't have enough to buy anything else. All right. Okay. Let's see. Begin. Is it, is the timer started? Yes. Now it has. There we go. Right, that one's going to be a bit of a problem for me in a way. Uh, we don't want you kind of ganging up with me, uh, on me. You can gang up with me if you'd like, but 
Okay, now this one turns me into a zombie, which makes things uh, a little bit crazy for a while. But uh, also kind of makes me invulnerable, which is always nice. You know? But we did miss a coin there, which is saddening. Uh, if I use this... Uh, okay, fine. That was not the best thing to do. Okay, fine. Right, okay. Now I can take you all out. I should have... The, the problem is, is if you've already got an item in your inventory slot, it will... Uh, it will automatically use any other item you walk across. I should have used the zombie straight away and then grabbed the nuke as a absolute there is there is no hope for me now. I need this right now. Oh wow, okay, that's that's kind of an amazing combo, I approve. I'll just stand here and I will ruin everyone's day for a while. <sighs> okay, well uh, once our cheat mode wears off, and it's starting to wear off, we've got a few few extra moments of ever so slightly less OP. But still quite OP. Uh oh, uh oh, uh oh, uh oh, oh. <laughs> that was a little bit uh, worrisome there. But uh, let's grab you. Thank you very much. We should be okay. All right. We didn't get as much gold out of that level as I would have liked. I feel a little bit worried about that. Little tad concerned. All right, then. This is usually where I go down, sadly. The, uh, the constant presence of enemies here is going to make this... Very awkward for me to try and deal with, but we'll try our best. Oh, no, 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 this is a bad place for me to be. Ultra bad, in fact. I regret many, many things. Oh, no! <laughs> I thought I'd already shot one to the right, but uh, it must have just been in the in a moment while I was reloading. Or r rather, not really reloading, but in the cooldown on my weapon, sadly. Okay, let's uh, get a lot of bullets everywhere for, for now. Oh, that's going to be an amazing one to have alongside oh level up yes please or rather life up uh, there we go so many bullets so many bullets i approve there we are. now we're actually not doing terribly badly here i know i've doomed myself by saying that but look okay it's me playing life on hard mode yeah. uh, let's try and keep the the lower area clear whilst they were all grouped up like that. That was a good opportunity to thin them out a bit. But we are still not very far into this level. Not very far into this level at all. Worryingly so, actually. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. No, thank you. Ah! Ah! Went straight into the butterfly. Oh, well. But we're up to 20 coins now. Uh, that is going to be uh, useful. <laughs> Please don't gang up on me. It's naughty. Rude. Bad. Thank you very much. There we go. I mean, realistically, I'm shooting them, so... <laughs> Do I have any place to complain about them just using their numbers advantage? Not really. I'm using a technological advantage, after all. Uh, why? I honestly... Once again, it was a case where uh, where I thought I had fired to the, uh, to the top left, but unfortunately it happened... Oh, really? Happened during my, my cooldown, and then I got caught on something. Oh, well... We got reasonably far, I think. I actually enjoyed it. We had a lot of money. Uh, a lot of uh, money there that we didn't end up spending. Uh, very sad about that. But you know what? I feel a little bit happy. I, I, I've i recovered from the terrible, terrible betrayal of Elliot there. Uh, Clint, have I tried giving you a daffodil yet? No. What about Emily? Uh, I mean, you like daffodils. Of course you like daffodils. You're awesome. Uh, where's Gus? Gus does... I don't know, honestly. So let's let's find out, shall we? I think we should. All right. Uh, actually, here you go. Thank you. I'm feeling a positive energy from this gift. How about you, Gus? Oh, goodness. Are you sure? I am. Ah, oh, fantastic. So many wonderful people in Pelican Town. Right. Okay. So with that done, then, with a, a, a slight failure, ever so slight, barely even a failure, really, <laughs> we are gonna head home and try to to forget the sting. First from Jazz, I don't know you, and then from from Elliot, not liking daffodils or leeks. <sighs> Some days are just they're just not your day. You've just got to pick yourself up, dust yourself off, and uh, try harder the next day. That's all. 
I may as well grab a little bit of extra extra wood on our way back. Getting very exhausted now, though, so we will uh, we will dial back there. I'm not going to do anything more. Let's head on home. Yoko's going to be very surprised to see me back this early. Very rarely return to the farm uh, before before midnight these days. Right, let's go and drop off all of the items here. I'm going to keep hold of um, the wood, obviously, because we're going to be using that in the very, very near future, I should imagine. Also, let's prepare a lot of fertilizer. Yeah, let's uh, go ahead and just turn all of that into fertilizer. There we are. Now, one of the things we could do, is we could get a couple of, of little paths. I think that might be really nice. Let's get 20 piles, shall we? Can I place these down? Can't place them there because we are going to need to pickaxe that area up first. I may as well use my time to uh, get this area properly set up, ready. There we go. Ah, uh, almost. I so almost did it to myself. Completely forgot. No, no, no. I don't want to go in there. I, I just want to eat these things so I can, I can lay down, uh, lay down the the cobbles, without, uh, without passing out. That would have been so bad, so bad, and I was so close. I imagine some of you are a little bit disappointed. But here we are. There we go. And let's just run this along. And we can run it over the grass. That's fantastic. Now, I don't suspect we're going to be able to run it over that grass, unfortunately. But that's also okay. We'll just bring this up. There we go. And I'm going to need a few more. There we go. And I'm also going to need a scythe as well, just to clear that little patch of grass there. And then, I'm going to feel a lot better about this. I mean, it's not going to make a, a huge difference to us. Not right now, but in time. In time, it'll it'll make a difference. There we go. I mean, it doesn't really matter that that goes along that path. I, I kind of think it looks nice though. Uh, could I make a torch or two? <laughs> no, no, I cannot because I foolishly used up all the sap. But never mind. I've got one torch over here that I can still place down. We'll pop that just for there. That that, that looks kind of nice. Okay, well, that's going to be it for today, I am afraid. It is that time, as much as I wish it weren't. We've got 351 uh, wood, 166 stone. We've got uh, over 10,000 gold. We should be able to get whatever we, our heart particularly desires on the morrow, but that is going to be it from me. So with that, and as always, do take care, everyone.